At this point, I want to share with you how to download a template, very interesting template and customize it on your PowerPoint slides to make it look much more professional so that the next time you speak, you're going to speak from a very professional look and, and you, should, you will sound interesting and you look interesting as well because of your slides. So one uh, very good website that I usually download my slides is the tiny PPT. You can see it over here, tinyppt.com. It's a very, very fantastic website. You can just have access to it. If, although some of the features or some of the slides are paid, but then you can do quite a lot with the free versions. You can download free, free templates and use them accordingly. So this is where you get download free infographic, brochure and newspaper. Okay. You can download everything and just uh, categorize. You can search for a template. You have a num no, you have the trending ones. You have number, you have vintage, you have triangle and many more. So feel free to try it. You can come also, you can see intro, you can see infographics from different angles, depending on your message and what kind of content do you have. You can easily walk over here, download the content and go back to your uh, PowerPoint and customize it. Okay. So let's say we're going with some of the popular te templates. You can see all of them are free over here. So you just, all you need to do is just to select a given template. For example, this one, I've just selected it. So you can see it's going to come up, all right? So once you have it over here, so you can check around to see uh, all the related ones. Okay, there are a bunch of them over here. So all you need to do is to come over here and click on free download. Authentication may be required. Just click on download and you can see it over here. It's just been, it's just downloaded. Okay, so you can see the downloaded folder over here. You just double click to open it. All right, so assuming I want to translate or I want to move this or I want to convert this from this plain outline of my presentation into something interesting and enticing. So all I need to do from the template that I have just downloaded is to come back to the template. So let me look at where I'm coming from. I need an outline describing about me, education, motivation, seven strategies and stage fright. So I come back to the downloaded templates and you can just uh, customize this. So what I usually do, sometimes I just, uh, sometimes I click and then I just uh, delete this image and then I bring in something, something like a text box. I bring in a text box. I just click on it here and I start writing. So I'll just put it outline, right? And select it and change the coloration to something like this and try to increase the size and try to bold it right i have it as an outline and then we can go ahead and change here for graphics so I, this is going to be about me and i can increase the text box from here as well the next one is which is going to be what education motivation seven strategies so the next one is education increase it a little bit next is motivation and increase it a little bit uh, next is seven strategies all right and just increase it a little bit right you can always click next is what stage fright right you can click and you can extend it a little bit you can bring it in a little the same way also you can just bring it in so if you like you can put numberings to this infographics to replace infographics you can put numbering for example you can put one two three or you can just remove it just like that so you just select and delete it right and select centralize it so you can centralize you can select delete infographics and centralize education select delete infographics and centralize motivation Select also 
and delete the infographics and centralize the centralize seven strategies and then you can do the same over here so you can see now it's very clear right so once i finish arranging the uh, the, the templates I finish customizing with my content i will try to put some animation so that it can become much more better so i'm talking about outline over here okay so what i usually do is to come to the animation tab and then i select everything okay make sure i select everything including the flowers including the this small line and then i can put it to fly in you see it not everything is selected but then we can select everything one more time okay make sure you select everything at some point you have you have the option to okay i think everything selected so you can just fly it in you can see fly in and you can change the direction at this point you can change the direction to fly from this angle and this is about me now you go to education so you select everything be sure to just select everything just like so and just include the line and you can fly it in also from this angle and you can see it very nicely and the next is you make sure you select everything as well and then you hold the shift key and select this angle and you can fly it in as well from this direction I think it kind of looks much better okay so next is we select this one select everything hold the shift key select this last one and then fly it in from this angle all right and then you have the last one which is stage fright you just select everything okay make sure you capture everything all right and then hold the shift key and select the last one and fly it in you can see it let's see from that angle it's okay okay so you can see now we have everything so what i usually do at the beginning is i used to remove this this right up by tiny ppt so all you need to do to remove this is to right click on the slide and come to format background okay and you can just come all the way here and say hide background graphics you just click and it's going to hide it just like so okay you enable it it's back you, you disable it and you enable this you can see it has removed the background graphics okay so you can apply to all if you want okay and apply and you can close this and now it's a plain text so after putting the animation let's try to see to play it and see what we can see in our presentation so let's say we we'll click and I want to talk about the outline of my presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is about me. Okay? It's about me. And I tell them my school. I tell them what I'm going to do. And then the next thing I want to talk about is about my education. And next thing I want to talk about is about my motivation, why I'm doing public speaking, and why I am seeing it as the future of the uh, soft skills. And then next thing is I'm going to talk about the seven strategies to deliver an effective speech or presentation. And then lastly, I'm going to share with you some key steps on or key tips and tricks on how to manage stage fright. I think this kind of looks cool and fantastic as regards the conversion, the, the, the customizing of the template and using it with some animations to present excellent presentation.